Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to FTD Speaks. This is Leroy Kenton here, and this video is gonna be exploring a topic that's really close to me. It's one of the motivating factors uh, as to why I do what I do. It's dealing with the idea of people having different religions and causing bloodshed because of that. Now this video is of Dr. Zakir Naik. He's answering a question of how to solve this issue. People have different religious views and they fight, argue, and sometimes spill blood because of this thing. Let's take a look guys, let's watch the video together and uh, I'm gonna share my thoughts and comments at the end. <clears throat> Three, two, one. I am Dr. Devre from Bhivendi College. Well, every religion is a supreme science of life. Nothing is wrong so far as the principles of religions are concerned. Right. I agree. But the formulation of principles is a different thing and execution of these principles is a different thing. Actually, where there is no relationship of blood, the relationship is to be established by the religions. Actually, what we find, I quote, La situfasidu filar jai bada isallah. Is sansar me shanti prastapit hone ke baad, ashanti mat phailao ke paigam. But actually what we find, what we realize, what we experience is this. The maximum blood is wasted only on account of the conflicts in the religions. Yeah. So where Sorry. is the wrong? I mean, what are your views about this? How would you reconcile the principles of religion and this chaos? which arises on account of religion. What are your views on, on this particular aspect? Really good Prophet question. Asked a very good question. <laughs> that in all religion basically speak good things, but the implementation may be different. They teach good things. But today you see in the world, many people are fighting on the name of religion. How can mm -hmm. you solve this problem? It's a very good question. And part of the answer I gave in my talk. And I said that as far as Islam is concerned, we should not kill any human being. So Ramayana chapter 5 was 32. How can you see to it that we can come to common terms? How can we solve the differences? That also mentioned in my talk in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 64 which says that Tala will akalmitin sawa'im bayna baynakum that come to common terms as in us and you. If suppose you have 10 points and I have got 10 points. If out of those 10 points, if 5 points are common and 5 are different, I at least agree with those five points which are common. The differences will come to it later on. Quran says, Ta'ala will akalmitin sawa'im, bainana bainakum. That come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushika bihi shayyam. That we associate no partners with him. So you rightly said how to solve. And I have given the methodology how to solve. That come to common terms. But the point to be noted here is that many people who follow religions, they do not know what their own religious scriptures speak. That is the problem. Many Muslims don't know what the Quran and Sahih Hadith speak. Many Hindus don't know what Hindu scriptures say. Many Christians and Jews don't know what the Bible says. Who's to blame? The followers. Therefore, I tell the people, you read your scriptures. Yeah. The point of difference will come to it later on. At least come to the commonalities. I have given the talk on similarities between Islam and Christianity. I say the things which we differ will come to it later on. At least what your Bible and my Quran says, let's agree with those things which are common. Fight will be solved. What I'm doing now. In my talk, did I ever criticize any religion? I was forced to reply when certain brothers tried to ask certain questions, which I have to speak the truth. Otherwise, in my talk, you can take the video cassette. I did not criticize a single point on any religion. I never spoke about the differences. I only came to common terms. Differences, I can give a talk on differences between Islam and Hinduism. Differences between Islam and Christianity. I am a student of comparative religion. I can quote verses. 
Alhamdulillah, from the various world scriptures, talking about differences. I keep that when required. When someone tries to disrupt the program, we have to be well aware of these things. But I never use it in my talk. I never use it as a common man. I tell the common man, you read your scriptures, you will come closer to your scriptures and to universal brotherhood. Read your scriptures, at least first believe in one God. The difference will come to later on. Mm -hmm. The difference will come to later on. Judaism says that, Christianity says that, Hinduism says that, Islam says that, Sikhism says that, Parsism says that. Believe in one God and worship Him alone. Why do you worship other gods? Come to that point, then come to other points. If we solve this problem of commonalities, if even if there are three points common out of ten, at least agree on those common points. The other points, we can agree to disagree. We'll come to it later on. So if we come on the common points first, coming on the comparative studies, believe me, most of the problem will be solved. Believe me. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going throughout the world, and I address audiences of non-Muslims, and many of them, because they're not aware of their scriptures, of our scriptures, many people post questions. Even Muslims aren't aware of the scriptures. So they post questions which they aren't aware of. So I educate them. I educate them about Quran, about Hadith, about Vedas, about Bible, and I quote. When I quote, I give the reference number. So no one can say, oh, Zakir is pulling a fast one. And all these scriptures are quoted. It's available in the Islamic Research Foundation. Our library has the various translations of Vedas. We have hundreds of types of Bibles, more than 30 different versions of the Bibles we have. Alhamdulillah. So whichever sect you belong to, whether you are Witnesses or Protestant or Catholic, I speak from their scriptures. So if you say that Zakir is wrong, you have to say that the Holy Scripture is wrong. I quote, and most of my talks are quotations. Quotations from various mm -hmm. scriptures. If you disagree with the scriptures, that's your choice. If you want to disagree, you're most welcome to disagree. Because Quran says, like Rafid Deen, there's no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. So I'm presenting the truth of Hinduism to you. If you want to agree, agree. Don't want to, don't agree. There is a symposium. The third cassette from there. Symposium on concept of God on Islam, Hinduism, and Christianity. People may call it a debate. The Hindu Pandit from Kerala and Calicut, a Christian father of Calicut, and I myself presented the Islamic view. Four and a half hours debate. It's available outside. Wow, four Colors and a half hours. Of Hinduism, of Christianity, I'm just a student. I'm presenting my view. And it's for the audience to judge. I'm talking about similarities. Quoting their scriptures, chapter number, verse number, chapter number, verse number. The best way to cause all the human beings to unite is find the commonalities. Speak about the differences later on. Hope that answers the question. Mm -hmm. So guys, we just heard uh, this answer from Dr. Zakir Nayak, a much younger Dr. Zakir Nayak from uh, the video. He's talking about video cassettes. Uh, I don't think anyone watches video cassettes anymore. But uh, that's besides the point. Uh, this topic, actually, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, one of the motivating factors to do what I do because I love seeing uh, unity among people with uh, various religions. Like having different religions coexist, different cultures, different uh, skin colors and races of people coexisting. Because, you know, after all, we share this planet and no two people, even in the same religion or culture, see exactly eye to eye. So Dr. Zikir Nag, he uh, laid out his, his thought process into why he believes that focusing on the commonalities first is the solution to solving all this conflict and war and fighting when it comes to religion. So just looking at the first point, all the major religions believe in one God. And some people say, no, but Hindus believe in um, multiple gods. It, it, you ask Hindus, it's the one God. So looking for various different uh, similarities first versus trying to look at the things that are different, first of all. I think it would save people a lot of time, a lot of energy, and just a lot of frustration when it comes to having conversations. Uh, I know I've had numerous religious conversations from different people of different religions. And then when I present my views, sometimes I see them get frustrated and they can't understand why I'm not frustrated with them. Like they, they want me to fight back and push back. I, I, I know because you can have your view, I can have my view. And uh, that's it. I'm looking for the common uh, similarities. So uh, Dr. Karnayak, he really um, laid out also why he studies other 
different religions to now educate people of those religions of what their actual scriptures say. So he presents them in a way that they can go and they can check. And, and I think that's great. Um, understanding where other people's beliefs are, are coming from, understanding what their scriptures and, and verses say, uh, not just to prove them wrong, or with the intention of proving them wrong, but looking for similarities first, agreeing on those terms, and then wherever there's gaps in understanding, or if there's ignorance, like someone just doesn't know what their scripture says, at least you can now share with them. And if they don't agree with your interpretation of that scripture, you can at least check the reference yourself and go read. So that's also really important to, to cite uh, references um, for, for anything, especially when it comes to comparative uh, religion. So I thought that was really good, really good answer but it left me a little bit like wanting more like maybe there was more that he wanted to say but just for the sake of this uh, question and answer segment he sort of left it out that that's what i feel anyway i don't know if that's true uh, or not because even if we present the similarities to people of uh, various different religions it's like yeah, 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 yeah but here's the big differences that cannot be reconciled so what do we do with this this thing like how do we see eye to eye on this maybe not try to see eye to eye on it just only focus on the similarities that's it and then share uh one belief in islam that zakir nike brought up again too is that the truth stands out from error so if you're someone who believes in the message of islam share it if somebody's open to it the truth will stand out to them if you're convinced that hinduism is the is the religion of choice and it's the best one share it and you know the truth will reveal itself same with christians sikhs um i think sikhs operate a bit a little bit different they don't go out and actually share their religion but like if you're a sikh and you're asked about your religion share it and let people be the judge of that there's no need to fight i think we can have some healthy debates and, and healthy question and answers but really asking questions to learn is i think also a valuable tool to have but yeah even though knowing this um and talking about it i think a lot of people still are going to continue you know fighting and having arguments and everything just heated debates and like fights over different religious beliefs i think you know people still continue but either way uh, i'm going to keep on making these videos because hopefully more and more and more people will see new perspectives new angles of their own religion as well as understanding other people in their religion and seeing where they're coming from so all in all good response from dr zakir and nayak again i think that there was more that he could have said um, but just the time constraints, he wasn't uh, permitted to do so. Maybe I'll find another video of him that he goes into a little bit more, more detail because it's, it's such an important topic and uh, there's so much um, missing, I think, when it comes to people's view on religion and religious differences that need to really be addressed so either way guys that's it for me that's all i'm going to say in this episode be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below also if it's your first time here to the channel hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified every time i post a new video and also that way you get to join me on my journey as i continue to explore the different religions and cultures of our world okay guys awesome chit chatting with you as usual looking forward to hearing what you have to say down below and i'll see you next time later Thank you.